Hey guys, it's Nick with the Decampers, and it is time for another RV bathroom upgrade. This time it's gonna be the shower faucet. Okay, first of all, it's really hot and humid muggy. <laughs> I'm doing this at home, so we haven't put 50 amp in, um, in at the house yet, so I can run the air. So I'm a sweaty buddy. I'm gonna try to make this fast. Uh, it's like a sauna in here. Now I can see outside, uh, starting to rain pretty good. So it's probably just gonna get worse and loud. So what I'm doing here is um, our original shower faucets they, when you turn the knob, they're kind of like squishy. Um, you don't get like a real distinct on off. So we're gonna switch that out. All right, I hope you guys can hear over the rain um, on the top of the RV. If you're watching this, it's because you're probably into RVs, so you understand the whole rain on the roof. So you'll bear with me. Okay, so here we are in our shower. That's the faucet we're gonna be replacing. We've already upgraded to the Oxygenix shower head which is phenomenal. I mean, if you haven't already done it, go out and do it. I think Walmart's starting to carry those now. Um, so here's why I don't like these. First of all, they're kind of ugly. Okay, so let me show an example. There's, hang on, let me turn it off. Okay, so if I want to turn the water on full blast, right about there is where it's going to be at full pressure, but it'll keep turning. And then when I go to turn the water off, right about there, we'll shut the water off, but it'll keep going. You know, there, it's just, if I turn it for warmer water, and then I want to adjust it back a little bit, well, then I have to adjust it a lot, just to get a little bit less warm. And, you know, they're just squishy. They're not, they're not very good. So, what I found was this. I found it on Amazon. Um, for pretty cheap, I think it was like 30 bucks. Uh, you see the little black, uh, little circle thing in the middle above the knobs. Okay, well this is made for an RV. It's going to accept the shower head hose. But, I think what I'm going to do is instead of mounting it like that, I think I'm going to flip it so that my hose hangs from the bottom. Because I'm a little worried about this pressure to the side. And I've seen on reviews people have done the same thing. They, they mount it this direction so the hose hangs and it's not causing any pressure. Okay, when I said it's raining, like, look at that rain. It is really coming down. Okay, really loud, really loud rain. So let's check this thing out. I'm gonna try to hold the camera and open everything. So bear with me. Okay, looks like I've got the faucet and all kinds of hardware. Looks like there aren't any instructions. Not that I use them anyways. Okay. It's got a little backer plate. And this is so much better. Solid stop. Solid all the way on. Solid all the way off stop. So yeah, when everything's off, it'll look like that. And then let's see what kind of connectors it's got here. Since it's made for an RV, I'm expecting that it should be a direct fit. I really hope so because I think the hardware store in our local area is closed. Okay, so yeah, you've got all the little hardware, these big, big washer looking things. They will screw on here and that's what's going to clamp the uh, faucet down so uh, let's get to it let's dive into this see if we can't mess it up <laughs>
smell of alcohol in a hot, humid RV. My goodness. So I use my plastic, whatever you call it, putty knife uh, scraper and carefully went around and got all the silicone off. And then I used my alcohol in a rag and cleaned all the rest of the residue and the last little bits of uh, silicone that were there. It's really important to get all that off and whew, that, it's about to take my breath away, the alcohol. But uh, it's really important to get all that old silicone off because if we don't, the uh, sealant that I put around it in a moment won't stick, won't seal. And if you see, it's just a thin shower liner to the wall panel that's just like in the rest of the RV. So if water manages to get back there, it's going to be a mess. So try to be really thorough about that. Um, so, okay, let me get on to the next step. I've already got my plumber's tape on my new faucet. I need to screw these lines to it, mount it, and seal it. All right, so there it is, fully installed. I've got my new silicone all the way around. Um, originally from the factory, they did not put silicone on the bottom, so I left it open also. Uh, I believe that's so any moisture that could build behind it could be able to drain out. So there it is. And actually, I paused making this video and finishing it. Um, we're at camp now, so I have air conditioning. And uh, there it is, finished product. Let's see how well it works. Okay, I've put the oxygenic shower head um, on the floor so I can get everything in one shot. So before, remember it was like real squishy, it wasn't very precise. So now I've got a definite stop, which is down. And as you can see, it'll actually adjust like normal. If I want to go half pressure, just like at home, half pressure. Same with cold. It is very precise. The more I turn it on and the less I you know, have the valve open. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah. So there's a, an inexpensive upgrade, not a necessary upgrade. Um, you know, it just makes your camping shower uh, just a little more pleasurable. Um, you know, just better control over your flow of water, the temperature, and you know, to me, when I'm dealing with the original faucet and I'm having to adjust back and forth so much and I'm not at a full hookup site, I'm thinking I'm filling my bathroom grade tank faster than necessary. So now, I'm so excited. It's, uh, it's so much better. I've taken a shower with it. Um, and yeah, it's just so much better. I can really adjust the temperature and flow perfect dead on just like at home. So um, if you're sick of that old factory, squishy, unreliable shower knob setup, uh, get on Amazon, about 30 bucks. They have that, that same exact one with, uh, there's another option for the handles to be a little bit different. Uh, so anyways, that's our latest upgrade here in the bathroom loving it um give me a like and subscribe guys i really appreciate it um and i will i'll come up with another little upgrade video pretty soon till next time uh happy camping and check us out on the campers okay at instagram see you guys next time